No, sorry. Now you hear me. Sorry, that was a problem with with technical problems. But sometimes technical problems happens. So coming back to conclusion, when we talk about photography or videography, then we need to find a solution, the simplest possible solution to use it in everyday practice. And if we will look about the options that we have, so on the other hand, on one hand, we have an option to use the normal photo camera, like for example, Sony, Nikon or other brand, but you know that making photo with this kind of uh, equipment can be a little bit difficult. Why? Because you need to do the post-production. You need this memory card that you are taking out from your camera, taking back again, putting in your computer and doing some post-production, which is really annoying all the time. And if you do a lot of patients every day, then it's really difficult to collect all these data. So recently I received this adapter. Well, this adapter is kind of a solution. You know, I'm a guy who loves quality. So when we talk about quality, I mean sharpness of the photo. And if you look at my publicity on Facebook or Instagram, you can see that my photos are very sharp, very vibrant in colors, and let's say it's fruitful, right? So very characteristic. On the other hand, uh, not all the people want to do such a lot of post-production or such a lot of work after just doing photos. And it might be the solution, this kind of connector. So let me explain how it's working. Okay, so let's take a look at these. I will just put some gloves so you can have a better view. We will feel like doctors now. So, how is it built? It's here you put your lens of your telephone. So, the position here, you position your telephone here to see through the telephone through this adapter. And, you know, when I first installed this adapter, that was a little bit tricky because this part was really difficult to adjust. When you put the phone here, you need to move a little bit up and down in order to position. But when you first do it, so you unscrew this little screw here and then you position your phone here, then it becomes easier. Another feature that we have is a little bit screw here so we can turn around this connector and it doesn't influence on anything except the comfort. Another thing that we have is the connection here, the little ring which helps you to rotate the, the screen and it will help you to see in a horizontal position. And I must, I'm talking about the horizontal position because most of us are used, well, in, in this Instagram era, is used to use the telephone videos like this. But it's much better to do it like that. Okay, so the question is, is it really worth to buy this kind of device? Is it really worth to, to pay a decent amount of money? Because, of course, I will tell you how much does it cost. But... Is it really necessary to buy it? Is it better or equal to the normal cameras? Let's see how it is put it on the microscope. But you know what? I will not show you the video. I will show you the microscope. So, look here. This is the microscope that we will be installing uh, this device on. But, of course, when you have this part, it's impossible to connect this without something like this. <coughs> Sorry. With something like this, you can, you can put your 
adapter on the one side and you can have like one side or two sides adapter. So how we are mounting these? First, you need to unscrew the binocular. Be careful because it's optics. Then you put it directly like this and you take the Allen screw You take the Allen screw here and you screw this device in the binocular. Do it tightly because this should be quite tight with no movement. Okay, when we have these, then you're putting these on the microscope. Be careful because it can fall down. So you put it, you position, and you screw this screw in again. Now, this is the fun part. <coughs> Sorry, something with my throat today. You unscrew these. Be very careful because uh, with the optics, you need to cover everything in order not to, to take any dust inside. So it's better not to unscrew it uh, a lot just just put it once and that's it and then you put it inside the socket and you turn it in and that's it and now you can use these uh this adapter for viewing so let's see what we can see and how we can see with these adapter I will connect the phone right now. So you will see that I'm connecting the phone. I've pre-positioned this before because it's it's a little bit tricky. It's really quite difficult. So in my opinion, of course, this, this adapter is great because it can be adopted to a lot of phones. But on the other hand, because of these, it's a little bit tricky to position in the beginning because <coughs> when you do it, it's it takes a little bit of time and uh, might be a little bit annoying, but when you set it up for the first time, then all the other times is very easy. So you put the phone inside the socket, like this, and you screw in the position. After you do it, you try to position the phone in order the lens to see the lens of the adapter. So you turn on the camera and now you see positioning here. In some phones you might see a little bit of yellow here. <coughs> Why? Because there are different phones, different focal lenses, different um, different uh, adapters and and this is this might be a problem so so different models can have these and it's it's normal so better thing for especially for iphone is to turn it on the video because on the video it's much wider it's 16 to 9 and the view is really good and you don't have these problems as i showed you before in the photo okay so let's take a look right now what we will have, what we will have uh, in the in the view, okay? So, so I've prepared a tooth here. So I want you to see the sharpness. The sharpness, I mean, in my opinion, is really really good. As we discuss about the sharpness of the phone. So you have to understand that we are not using the professional camera, but we are using just a phone. And if using just a phone, you see that the quality of the picture is pretty decent. So, okay, in this situation, it worked flawlessly. But let me show you how it works with a patient in the, in the mouth. So this video that you are seeing right now 
is the video that we recorded <coughs> not with the with this adapter but with normal camera and that was the very good format because this is the ProRes. Uh, ProRes, if somebody doesn't know, is the, the format which is used for professional videography. And of course it's color graded, so the colors and everything is that they are prepared. So that is why you can see a lot of sharpness and a lot of fruitness of the color. So with good quality camera you can reach this kind of level but if you will look at the video from the adapter i was really surprised because <coughs> almost without any post-production any problems uh with i mean spending even a minute on on post-production we could have very good quality video quite sharp very fruitful so in my opinion, if you use this, it's it's good solution for everyday use. One problem that you see right now is always with the positioning of the camera, because when you position the camera not properly, the, the video will go in uh, not horizontal, but vertical direction. And this might not be a good thing. But the colors, the sharpness, the, the depth of field, it's really good. So if you're looking for the solution for your office just to show to your patients or, or you're not lecturing and you just want to show your patients what you're doing, make videos, share on social media, my opinion, this kind of adapter, this kind of uh, solution is one of the best you can have. This type of adapters. So now let's talk about the pricing. I mean, the pricing is really thing what we need to consider because the pricing here is really crucial. Well, the adapter costs 1,595 euro. This is the retail price as I asked for the, from the producer. Well, it's, it's not low. On the other hand, this is um, not very high if you want to buy it once. And you will consider that this adapter is for almost every phone. So <coughs> the best thing in this adapter is that it is applicable to different phones. So when you change the phone, you, can, you don't need to change the adapter. Well, I have different adapters and some of them... They have like closed possibilities. So you buy, for example, one phone and it's for just one phone. And then if you don't want to change, not working. So this might be an issue. So definitely it's going to be a good solution if you want to do your videos and photos and you don't want to spend a lot of money. Of course, you need to calculate the price of the ergo also the ergo adapter for connecting these adapters but as he, as i see karsten is he is with us hello karsten and you're writing that for the iphone there is a free app where the cameras stay on and you have functions for adjustment well that that's what i didn't know and and that's a good information so when you want to use an iphone for example as karsten is representing the company who is producing these he is the boss the big boss of of uh, TJ Optic and um, and with this adapter you can use this this app and uh, with this app you have uh, a lot of a lot of functions that will help you to record and of course it is downloadable in the app store so you can do it okay so the review I mean the pluses and minuses we need to finish with these well, the minus is in the beginning the tricky uh, mounting, setting it up. This is the first time might be difficult. Hello, Dennis. Nice to see you. And uh, of course, after that, 
it's easy. So it's just a little bit of minus. On the other hand, from the pluses, very good robust build, very good quality of the picture. Of course, quality picture depends on your lens of the microscopes. It's normal. But uh, if you use a good quality microscope, as for example, as I use, then definitely you will have a very good quality video and photo. But another minus, especially for iPhone, is, uh, but I think this is the problem of iPhone, this is not the problem of this adapter, is that on the photo uh, program, you will have this yellow, yellowish round circle around around the, the, the photo. So my suggestion when you use iPhone, use the video, 4K video, and then it's much better to take photos in this in these program. Okay. Well, the pluses, the biggest plus is that it's easy to go. If you followed me, and if you follow my uh, personal page on Facebook, you can see my live shows from uh, treatment and it's done li like live show every day i can put my iphone on the microscope and i can do the live show with um with this adapter so this is this is also the plus and the easiness of use after setting it up and the easiness of sharing your photos or videos with other colleagues and uh this is this is really amazing because now you can you don't need to download the photos you just need to share it so you just send it by email or you put it in the Facebook or Instagram or TikTok or whatever you use and then everybody can see everybody can discuss about the the, the case everybody can help you with the case so this is really nice what is really nice also is that when, do you have, when you have your patient and you want to show him or her what you're doing, for example, restoration or preparation or just the or the problem, just the problem, right? <clears throat> then using this adapter is also easy because you just push the record button, you just record a short movie and then you take your phone and sh you show the, to the patient, look, this is the problem and the patient knows. And when you show this to the patient, this will help him to make a decision in order to go with the treatment or not. And probably normally they will decide to go with the treatment. So the final question, would I buy one? Hmm. That's, uh, that's a tricky question because, uh, you know, I have like a couple of, of uh, cameras connected to the microscope. I have different, different cameras. Uh, in use and um, my needs are very specific but for everyday usage my answer is yes definitely i would buy it even though the price might be a little bit lower for this kind of device if you have any questions please do not hesitate to write me a pm or uh, write me in the comments on the Facebook and I will be very happy to answer this. Carsten is writing, normally it is not as huge as you had it. We have adapted to be closer or far with, with the phone. Okay, I just, I just have this one, so maybe I just need to, to test uh, different solutions. But with this solution, I'm still happy and it's, it's not that... That it's not uh, it's not good. It's it's a very good product, and I would definitely recommend it, but on certain con conditions. Thank you very much for your attention, and uh, see you next time. Next time we will be talking about different product. We will be talking about uh, endodontic scaler, I think. So it will be the next product that we will review for you. Thank you, and uh, don't forget to subscribe to our uh, Facebook fan page and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel Dental Masters Group where you can find lots of videos 
some in our native Polish language, some in English, but more in English to come. So it's very good to follow and uh, to click the remind button so you will know that the new movie is coming. Thanks very, very much and see you next time. Thank you.